I know that there are a lot of DBZ fans out there on the internets watching this video right now, and some of you may be cringing in fear of what's to come. No, don't worry, it's not my impression of Frieza. It's the game you see on your screen right now, one that confirms that the DBZ franchise is working hard for only one thing, your money, even if their product is totally subpar. Such is the case with DBZ Taiketsu, developed by Webfoot Technologies and published by Atari for the Game Boy Advance. If there's ever been a fighting game that was made specifically for you to button mash until you get arthritis in every joint in your hand, this is it, and my god is it bad. Suffice to say that such an affliction to your health would be better off playing, oh, I don't know, any version of Budokai, Tenkaichi Budokai, maybe Burst Limit. First of all, I want to curse the dirty trickster of a previous owner of this game for making me think that it was a one-hit-and-quit fighting game, as in, just run into your opponent and lose the first round. I had no idea how to reverse this setting without erasing all the data first. Nonetheless, before the reformat, I got a chance to see all 16 playable characters, which include the patricidal psychopathic Brawly, who has a seething hatred for Goku due to his seemingly endless crying in the Kakarot days. Although the background and battle music are decent, the staccato and faulty fighting controls make each fight seem to last an eternity. Even more embarrassing are the awkward way that sky battles start, a key concept in both the series and subsequent video games. I inexplicably rose into the air with a gray arrow pointing up with the assumption that something is to follow. That something, of course, being a button mash experience like no other. Yes, you just tap away until you both end up back on the battleground where the button mashing resumes. Also to be laughed at is the way you can increase your character's power level, and the only way to do this is to stand totally still while you're surrounded in a golden aura, which looks kind of cool I guess, but you're totally open to your opponent's attacks. Usually the computer opponent will follow your lead and charge up as well, making the entire process pretty much useless when it comes to getting an advantage against it. Even more abrupt is the way the battles end, the loser dropping to the ground like a sack of potatoes. You can probably gauge my dismay at this when I was still in one-shot-one-kill territory, dropping mighty Goku and Piccolo with one kick to the shin. Fear not, however, your exercises in Pointlessless are well rewarded in the Z-Store, or you can waste your hard-earned points on things like soundtracks that should come with the game in the first place, and tiny freeze frames of memorable DBZ moments that you could probably find on Google Images in better resolution and size. Needless to say, Taiketsu is one of those games where you just laugh at how truly pathetic it is, where you begin asking, why would someone release something like this? Then you remember, oh yeah, Funimation. <laughs> no, just kidding. But really, any Dragon Ball Z fan worth his or her salt should probably realize that even some games under $5 should be treated as such. <laughs>